Look at these. Didn't those pop up pretty with that rain? I sat them, I took them off the, the hooks and sat them out here and they just, you know, there's a difference between, between rainwater and, 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 um, and, uh, everything just looks better. Everything just looks better. Rainwater just does something, you know? But, uh, what does it say? And, uh, water hose. Well water is good. Well water is really good. You know, we have the well. But, uh, rainwater just does something to the plants that seems like your sprinklers and your well water don't do. I don't know. Maybe that's just my imagination, but I feel like it does because those those just look so pretty. They've been watered since I've had them. I mean, when I bought them, I brought them home and watered them, hung them up, and they still never looked as good as they look right now. So, it's something else. Okay. That's just sitting on a couple of scraps just to get it in the air enough that I could screw it down there at that corner. So, let me show you what I've done here. Um, it's going to be hard to see because I need to weed eat. Now I'm going to get down here. See the end of that 2 by 6 sticking out? This one right here. Right here, my hand is pointing it. It didn't come all the way out to the end of the uh, 4 by 4 Like... I, I don't know if I should have done that because it doesn't really matter, but it didn't come all the way out. So I had to, but it's got this new one right here had to be even with it. So if it went down enough, it, they would be, I don't know how to explain it to y'all, but this way, maybe, maybe this way. The top of it right here need to be even with this one here. So I got this piece of scrap and laid it like that. See how that lays across there. So I know that that's, they're even. I, I did get this even enough with this one, even though it didn't come to the end and I couldn't see it real good down there. I did get it even enough. I mean, it's even, it's good and even where it needs to be. So then I went here and every two foot, I marked my center. My two by six will be every two foot. And you can see down there is a clip. Right, oh well, my finger is right on it. Let me back up. It's right uh, <laughs> there, there's a clip. This board right here is gonna go in that clip at that end and then these two screws sticking out right down here, I'm going to screw into this end. And that will be one joist set. And I'll just keep moving down the row like that. Now, like I said, it's only gone that far right now. And that's not, it's not even level or square yet. I will get it level in just a second. Got my level out here. So I will get it level um, before I start screwing everything in. But I know where my marks are. I know every two foot on my board and I'm ready to do that. Um, so I'm gonna, back, let me just see with two, those two scraps, just how unlevel it is. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go up or down. Oh my gosh, look at that. Those two boards, I mean, that's just scrap. And that is in the bubble. So actually, that's where it's got to stay. It'll have to move out some because it's at an angle right here. It's got to come out a little bit. See it? It's at an angle. But I'm fixing to drop that board down in. I'm going to straighten this up and get it more straight. But see where this ends, I will come back with a chunk of a 2 by 6 like four foot long. And the next board that goes that direction, the other 2 by 6 it'll butt up to this one right here. I will put one on the back side 
sort of sister it together. And um, that'll give the two pieces, they'll be like joined by that one piece, if, if you understand what I mean. And I'll show y'all that when I get to it. Now, anyway, I'm just, I'm just messing around. I'm not really going to get into all of this right now because like I said earlier, I am tired from the day. And uh, I know that I'm going to be gone all day tomorrow with Debbie at the hospital. And then I've got to pick up the kids tomorrow evening after school. So my t after I drop them off Thursday morning, I'll come home and work on it and, and uh, maybe get most of it done by then. If I don't, then I'll work on it again some on Friday and then have enough of it done that y'all can get a video on Saturday. But yeah, this is what I've done so far. And you can sort of see how it's going to, how it's gonna work. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, so let me show you real quick. I took a tape measure so I can get the length all the way down to the same length from this corner all the way down. We didn't make it square, right? So I hooked the tape on the outside edge of this four by four post right down there at the bottom corner. And then I pulled it tight all the way till I got to that corner on the outside edge of that last post. It came to 29 foot, five inches. So then I put it down here on the outside edge of that four by four and followed this. Now this is where I said I would show y'all how I'd sister them together. So that's the two two by sixes right there. See them butted together. And I put that back, that board on the back side and it's all screwed together, holding it together. And this is where a block will be right underneath that seam. I'll put some good support there so it'll never you know, want to break or fall, uh, fall. So anyway, then I drug the tape all the way down here and I make a, made a mark right here. This is 29 foot, five inches. That board, I cut that off a few minutes ago. That's the outside edge. So what I've got to do is cut this board right here, cut it where that mark then bring it down around to the front of this board and screw it in. And right now there's a big, it's that big bow in it. It's got to get all straightened out. And when I get that done, then the whole thing, that'll be the corner. And that's where that post has to go back in. I had to get the post hole diggers and dig out some of that hole. It was a little bit off. But um, that'll be my corner. That's where I'll put that post back in, straighten it up straight, uh, put the level on it, and then screw these, screw that in. And then I'm not going to be doing anything else than tonight. I'm going to go on in the house and then finish it up in a few in uh, Thursday and Friday. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. I'm going to go in the house in a minute and let Levi open that gift. And then, um, I'll see y'all tomorrow and get this video put out. All right. God bless y'all. Good night. Okay. It's gotten dark on me. But, um, I had to put all them sort of just lean them up inside the porch because they were in my way walking. And so I've got this outside screwed in from there and it comes down it makes the corner I got the 4 by 4 in I told y'all I had to dig with the post holes to get it a little bit further in and now from that corner all the way out to this outside edge is 119 and a half that's inches 119 and a half inches it's just easier for me to read the tape like that right now because I'm very tired. <sighs> and, um, so, yeah, 119 and a half. So it's not quite. It's not quite 10 foot. 
half inch off being 10 foot. But this is exactly the same as down there at that end from there, from there to there, 119 and a half, not quite 10 foot. So my two corners are set and ready for these posts to be put in. Um, this is level because I showed y'all put that board on there and I made sure that was level. And that post back there is level. Therefore, since it met up and joined right there, we know coming off that post it's level. But as you get down here, it starts becoming unlevel. And that's because this little stuff I put in here to hold those two up until I get blocks under them, they're sort of wishy-washy. I'm gonna have to drop them down some because they're putting a, um, a, a bow, an arch. So I've got to bring them down. But I'm done for the night. Mosquitoes are starting to bite me. I guess all that rain yesterday brought the mosquitoes out. The mosquitoes, I don't think have been bad down here around my house at all lately. But tonight I've already popped a couple of them on my leg. At least I'm not the, I don't whelp up or anything. Um, praise God that doesn't happen to me. But I know some people do. Connor, Elora, Steph. When mosquitoes get them, they look pretty rough. I've got something in my skin, I guess. It didn't let me look so bad when they bought me. But, um, anyway. Look at these chickens roosting on the fence. The guineas. See them all standing out there? They're fixing to fly up and get on top. There's one up there, but I think the light can't see from the light. Maybe I can get, get it at an angle. Get the light. Yeah, see them up there? All the guineas roost up on top of that run. So when the baby chicks and ducks first get here, they'll go in that run. They'll go in that little, uh, that little section right there. They'll go in that and I'll close up the door that's on this outside edge. And then when they get old enough to come out, into the grass, then I will take the little door off the side that I'm gonna screw on. And I don't know if y'all can see that because I've never, and it's full of weeds and stinging grass right now because nothing's been in there. So I'll have to go in and hoe all that down. See all that stinging grass? But see, there's a door down there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get down lower. See that little doorway, little dark door, door, because there's no light in there and you can't tell. But I usually put uh, a uh, a board across it until they're older. And when it, where they start feathering out and getting big enough that they can't come through the wire, then I open it and let them completely out into the yard and then go back and forth from inside there at night to sleep and then out during the day. Whew. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm gonna go in and get me something to drink and video, do a little short video on the end of this of Levi opening his box. And then we'll, we'll have to start this again tomorrow. Well, not this. This is probably basically, unless I work on it a little bit tomorrow afternoon, is probably all I'm gonna do until Thursday. But you can see, <laughs> Even this may all of a sudden, I mean, it's like one thing to stand out here and say, I'm going to do this by this. And it don't seem like it's very big because a couple of steps and you're past what you're going to, but look at it. It's just, <laughs> it's gigantic. Anyway, I'm going to get in. I know I've said that about a hundred times. Steph just left. She brought the kids clothes for the week. Okay. Did you take a bath since yeah. I've been outside? I took a bath. Oh, you're in different clothes. That, that clean clothes. I know, I just said you're in different clothes than when I went outside. It's tight. Give me them scissors. Can you cut that? Mm -hmm. Can you cut straight across? There you go. That didn't work, did it? It didn't work. Right, here, let's, uh, well, I think this, is this the bottom? All right, 
don't we? Um, let me hold this. Probably gonna get my finger in the shot. Don't suck your finger. No, I meant in the <laughs> in the video. I can't do it. All right, see if you can get that to pop open. Got it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what you got? Oh, snap. What'd you pull out of there already? Let me see. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> so you got a bag of snacks. Oh, skinny pop popcorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to put it in the snack drawer? Yes, yes. Wait, I need that note. The note, baby. Oh, it's from Kathy. Tell her thank you. Thank you. Where are you going? Okay, that's it. Kathy, thank you. He's done. He got him a little thing of Oreos and he's split. All right, guys, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Tell him where we're at. At the hospital with Debbie. At De with Debbie at Methodist. Methodist? Yeah. So he got him a Coke and got me a caramel frappa. frappa Chino, oh, let me get my purse off. Got us a cinnamon roll to share while we sit out here. I don't know, Debbie, I think will be coming from that direction. I let her off at the valet and then I went and parked. So we'll be here for a little bit. She said it's just the one doctor, just the cardiologist and just a little visit. So we should be in and out within an hour then we'll head home huh let's get food on the way home that's what i figured you were fixing to say i was waiting for it let's get food on the way home yeah. all right we'll talk to y'all a little bit hey guys hey guys all right got a few minutes before i run pick up the kids from school and we've got two boxes and a package here. Levi's, I've already opened them with my box cutter and he's going to oh. open them. This one he's got right now is from Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Look at me. Yeah. What is that? Snacks. That smile. It's like a sneaky smile. What? Oh my gosh. I see a lot of something that you really like. What is that? Boy, Put, put the box in here. You gonna tell Kevin thank you? Thank you. <laughs> All right, here's oh this bag. There is no tag in this. I'm not for sure who sent it to him, but it's a George Strait. Um, it's one of his concerts. You gonna say, tell him thank you for that? Thank you. All right, let's. This is from Kathy. Kathy, I haven't read your letter yet. I'll do that when I get back from the kids. But I'm gonna let Levi. Let me see some of this. Oh, an apple mint. Oh, a coffee cake. Caramels. Another coffee cake. Let me see. I can't. Levi, can you open this with the. There's something in there. What's in there? Let me see this. It's one on one hand in it. Oh my gosh, little, those are adorable. Little starfish. There's some scissors right here, baby. Kathy, those are adorable. I love those, thank you so much. Making it? How about if you try it right here, right on this stuff? Okay, I think you're going to cut me. All right, hold on. Let me get... I don't even know where my tripod is. Where's this snack cake? Hold this phone up. Where are you going? Why'd you run off? I can't tell. This is heavy. This is... 
fairly heavy. These scissors suck. These are sucky scissors, Levi. No wonder you couldn't open. Oh. <laughs> Another jar of blackberry jelly. Yeah. Who likes that? You like blackberry too. I was thinking of myself though. All right. Thank you so much, Kathy, Kevin. And like I said, I don't know who sent in the George Strait concert. But thank y'all. We love y'all. And um, we'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. God bless y'all. Thank you. All right. Tell everybody thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. So I think I have a new family out here. Then flip it over and dump it out. Yes. Shake it till it all comes out and then go back in for more. So I think I see a family out here. Some little gardens doing fairly okay. My cucumbers are, and my tomatoes are amazing. My squash, I told you I pulled some apart. You know, there was be like, there was two or three in each container. So they're a little bit in shock, I think, still. They're still trying to, but look at these babies. Hanging over the sides, already getting their little curlies to hold on the fence when it gets time. These are doing so pretty, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I hear you. Where's the mama and the new babies? I seen them. Let's see, get down. Oh my gosh, get down, guys. All right, come on. I want to go see these babies. Hi, Bilbo. Frodo, my love. I'm a pumpkin. All right, give me a second. I need to see what's going on. Oh, my gosh, how many does she have? Did you find you a new house, Mama? Is this where you're going to live? You brought your babies to live here? Well, they're beautiful. Honey, no, no. Come over here. Honey. Oh, she won't go back. Y'all want to eat? Y'all ready to eat? I'm trying to see how many she's got. It looks like about eight. It's hard to tell, see them from here. She ain't gonna, she don't want them guineas. That's cute. She don't want those guineas to get messing with them. All right, let me get them all some food real quick. You're not scared, go see them. Come on. Let go of her leg, you weirdo. Uh, Porter. She'll, those babies are going to get hurt here with these goats. I'm going to have to do something. They will step all over her, them. They already step on chickens. They step on chickens. They step on everything. It's like they don't have no idea what's going on. You shouldn't be acting scared of him. Why is he doing that? I was trying to pet him. Well, go ahead, pet him. No, he's kind of a butt. Pet him. He got food all stuck in the chair. Kim, are you setting me up for this? No, but I think he, he, he must smell Levi like she's like Levi. I can beat her up. Amazingly autistic is what I... Get away from me. Get away from me. Take off running. Let's see what happens. wrong with you guys? See? Tell I just run over things. He's not, he don't do that stuff to me. 
She does it to Levi. Well, yeah, it freaks Levi out. Yeah, just like you. Just like you. You're scared, and he's still basically a lamb. He's not even full grown. He's not like a sheep. Look at his little tiny horns. I feel more comfortable wrestling a sheep than that little guy. She's shutting that gate. Little things are too squirmy. Did it stay close? Oh. Look at her Cheetos on her face. Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> you told me that you did not want to clean that pool, and she said that you wanted to clean that pool. You're a storyer. Uh, Kim, he's going to get my baby next. I don't, I wonder what he would, would he mess with her? Oh, they are? So you got to do something more solid. So what are you going to... I'm going to call and get a quote on that smart panel siding, the wood siding. It's like made for... Like yeah, that's what... Uh, one section of my back porch is smart panel. My whole shop is smart panel. It's not been painted yet because it comes It comes in that beige color. I was pop you. No, sir. Side eye me. No, you can't go in there. That, that sheep is mean. You can call love Frodo. No, I think Frodo's the one that my hair up. Frodo and Bilbo both will get me by my ponytail. And yank. I'm not going in there. Oh, um, Connor, when Connor, when Mom has buns, Connor thing is like a ball, and every time Mom has a bun, he wants to squish it because it's so fluffy. <laughs> Hi, babies. I love y'all. I love my babies. I know. Give me kisses. Okay, don't give me kisses. I'm coming. I'm coming out. I'm done here. Move. You done made me mad trying to hurt everybody. All right, here, hold my... All right, guys, I'm going to shut this down. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all in a couple of days.